This woman is going viral for having a meltdown over a man approaching her. Now, you probably guessed that a man probably ran at her with a knife or something. You know, something really scary. Well, no, uh, a random man was standing about 30 feet away from her. That's approximately 9.1 meters, pretty far away. And he said to her, excuse me, ma'am. Now, in response to this pretty normal thing to say, she started immediately screaming at him as loud as she could going, do not approach me. I'm literally shaking right now because I just had a man approach me in a parking lot and it went fine and I'm going to tell you why it went fine and how to address it because it was in a book I read and this is how you're supposed to address it but it scared me. I'm literally I'm literally shaking. So this guy I am a alone with my son by myself a woman and a male approached me in a parking lot. He's excuse me miss and I don't know why in the hell he was approaching me or what he was trying to do and before he I mean he was probably 30 feet from me when he said excuse me ma'am and I turned around and I literally yelled at him and I said do not approach me and he like like immediately started going in the other direction and I just kept saying it over and over and over I said do not approach me do not approach me and he of course like got like what the f did it like he started cussing and yelling like what what's your problem and i and i looked at him and he started he actually then crossed a couple cars down from my car and he didn't come anywhere near me he crossed a couple cars down from my car and was like what's con continuing to cuss and say what's your problem and i said you do not approach women in a parking lot i just kept saying do not approach me you do not approach women in a parking lot like yelling it no male no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot ever should no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot and if a male does approach you you need to turn around and use the strongest voice that you can possibly use with them don't be polite they need to literally screw off no male should be approaching you in a parking lot all right so you probably noticed the 50,000 times she pretty much repeated saying the exact same thing that's kind of what happens when you have no logical point at all you just start repeating what you're saying so let's just break this down real quick right there's a man in the parking lot of a mall nine meters away from you 30 feet and he said excuse me ma'am there is no other context to this video he could be asking for directions maybe he's lost maybe he's new to the area or something maybe you dropped your goddamn credit card and he just wants to return it to you he's being a good person maybe he knows you from work he's just saying hi or something maybe there's another man actually running behind you about to stab you and he's like hey look behind you, you know? So this guy could be a regular person, right? Just kind of approaching you, maybe asking for directions or something, and you immediately start screaming like a fucking lunatic. You're just like, do not approach me! Turn into like Godzilla or something. And he like immediately started going in the other direction, and I just kept saying it over and over. What the F did it? Like, he started cussing and yelling, like, what, what's your problem? Now, I love how she pretends like the guy's response is somehow weird. Like, if a random woman starts screaming at me for absolutely no reason, yeah, I'm just gonna go away to get away from, you know, the lunatic that's screaming. And yeah, I'll probably get mad and start cussing because I'm like, w why the fuck are you, why are you screaming at me, you know? All I did was say, excuse me, from 30 feet away. What's your, what's your problem? He didn't come anywhere near me. Now, you even describe how he was being perfectly respectful after you said, do not approach me, said, you know, screamed it. You said he didn't come anywhere near you because I think he was just confused because this was like the biggest overreaction ever. No male. No male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot, ever. So no male should ever, ever, under any circumstances, approach a woman in a parking lot. That's uh, they should write that into the law, actually. What if the male is a doctor and the female is having cardiac arrest or something? Is that a valid reason? Or yeah, under your rule book, we just let the let the woman die, right? Imagine she's having a heart attack. You go to, you go to like approach her and the woman is just like, do not approach me. <laughs> I don't know what kind of shrooms you gotta be on to act like this. This is clearly someone who's just making themselves a victim in a very normal interaction. Now, believe it or not, the story actually gets worse. She makes four, four separate video responses to the situation, not apologizing, not saying she's overreacted, but actually doubling down again and again and again. He approached me today in a parking lot while I was alone with my son, bent over trying to put him in his car seat. What do you mean approached you? You, you literally admitted in the video that he was 30 feet away. I can't even hear someone from 30 feet away. You think she just walks around with like a 30 feet radius all at all times around her anyone who comes into that circle is automatically just approaching you i'm getting a lot of comments like this one that how i responded to protect me and my son in that situation was over the top other people are saying he could have just been trying to help or that someone that says excuse me ma'am
ma'am isn't a criminal. So let me ask you this. What does a criminal look like? At what point do you choose to defend yourself? You know, personally, if someone is in a 30 mile radius, I just whip out the flamethrower, honestly, just in case, you know, just in case they try and approach me. This argument is so bad. She's like, at what point is someone a criminal? Basically, she's trying to say that, oh, I wouldn't know before he hits me in the back of my head or something. The, the point they're a criminal is when they do something that breaks the law. I understand if the guy is like suspicious or creepy in some way, not, not just a regular guy, you know, saying excuse me from 30 fucking feet away that's that's a bit ridiculous are you gonna wait until somebody with an orange jumpsuit approaches you and as a woman never underestimate your instincts what is this new bullshit bro as a woman like what what as a woman what you just have higher instincts or something you're you're now a police dog because you're a woman you can sniff out criminals from 30 feet away do me a favor somebody else comment below as another woman shut the fuck up okay so after this she responds with some more context and she says like the guy is shady and stuff we'll get to that but let's read a few comments before that nice knowing we're rapidly approaching a world where male slash female anti-social Sociality is normalized through outward hostility and any normal interaction male approaching female is discomforting and harassment and women should only be spoken to through approved channels dating apps lol yeah it, it, it's really weird you see these people overreacting and it kind of like traumatizes their a, a lot of guys they're just like oh my god am i gonna get put on the internet like this this is this is really weird in an alternate universe male excuse me miss your hazard lights are on woman oh thank you both proceed to their days like normal individuals do not approach hey you forgot your credit card at the do not approach me <laughs> that's gonna become such a meme dude that's so funny wow i failed to provide some very much needed context in my last video so we are gonna get right on that because you guys just think i scream at guys in parking lots for fun and that is not the case. The situation has never happened to me before and I really hope it never happens again. So first of all, we were in a mall parking lot that was completely dead. I don't know what it is about the mall in the middle of the day, but there was nobody there. Second, this was the sketchiest looking guy I have ever seen in my entire life. And I think he was trying to ask me for money because then he proceeded to walk down the rest of the parking lot looking for people to ask. All right, hold up. What is what is like a sketchy looking guy even mean? Like, did he have like a hoodie over his head? You know, black sunglasses, a mask. He's, he's got this super big sweater where he might be concealed carry carrying something like that may be shady. You didn't, you didn't describe it at all. Considering you think the word, excuse me, is like weird and creepy and a guy just trying to say hi or something is creepy. I'd assume 99% of men probably fall under sketchy. I didn't have any other form of protection. I didn't want him getting anywhere near enough to me to like knock me out and rob me. I'm not saying that definitely would have happened, but I didn't want to open up myself to that possibility. Yeah, apparently, I don't know, the guy had a boomerang or something because she felt like she was in danger from 30 feet away. I mean, how do you how do you even walk outside? There's like people all around you. When I first saw this guy, I had just put my son in his car seat and I stood up to see this guy across the aisle, the other cars. I'm not sure if that's exactly 30 feet, but that's where he was. And I mean, he was walking as fast as he possibly could towards me so fast that I did not have the time to walk around to my other side of the car and get in. Yeah, at this point, I think she's making stuff up, okay? Like, what, how did you calculate the velocity of the guy walking towards you, okay? How did you estimate that you had no time to get in the car? He's just like, Mary marathon speedrunner we got an olympic gold medalist over here didn't you say like you were you're putting your baby in your car so it was like you were like right next to it or something so i don't know i feel like the story ain't adding up i feel like you got called out for being a little crazy on the internet and now you're trying to like add details to the story to to make it somewhat plausible finally i definitely hadn't dropped anything this guy wasn't trying to help me he was coming at me from the opposite direction of how where i came out of the store well you wouldn't know if you dropped something would you <laughs> until somebody told you like maybe it's just asking for directions. Maybe, maybe he's actually homeless or something and he's like sketchy in your eyes and he's asking you for money. Like let him fucking ask. Maybe give him something, you know? I don't know. I just don't like this. So why are you treating human beings like they're some like radioactive rats or something? Girl, I am not a super paranoid person. I don't scare easily. It's actually, my husband has actually had to tell me you need to take a little bit more precautions because there are bad people in this world. Did he mention he married you for the looks? Cause I, I don't see anything in the brain department here. Calling all brain cells. Looking for, looking for a source of human life. Life. nothing nothing i don't i don't no connection so for me to be in a situation like this that legitimately scared me it wasn't a good situation i did what i needed to do to protect myself and my son and if that was an overreaction then so be it i would rather overreact in the moment and absolutely nothing happened than open myself up to the possibility of something happening and again i really hope this never happens again i like talking to people in public i'm generally pretty friendly to people in public but this was 
not that. No, you think it's okay to overreact because you have no empathy and doesn't don't consider how the other guy feels. You come off as a horrible person. You think about protecting yourself, that's fine, but think about the other guy. He's approaching a woman from 30 feet away and she's she's screaming at him saying, do not approach me. He's gonna think he's like, he's like disgustingly ugly or something as a radioactive virus or something. A woman just screaming at a guy from 30 feet away for doing literally nothing can maybe potentially traumatize him. Like you don't know if he has social anxiety or something. Maybe he's uncomfortable in social situations, which you come off as weird and creepy and start screaming at him. He's literally never gonna approach a woman again. Like maybe he was just trying to help you. Maybe he was trying to pick you up or give you a compliment or something, but he couldn't even get in a, in a 30 feet radius of you. He got that megaphone treatment, you know? So now she responds again for the final time. And she says that all these guys are so triggered by me, which is ironic considering more than 50% of the comment section was probably girls. The amount of guys that are triggered by my last post is like unhinged, absolutely unhinged. If anything, it has just solidified in my mind how important it is to protect you and your kids and to go with your instinct when you feel like you're in an unsafe situation. Stay safe out there, ladies, because if you don't keep you and yours safe, no one else is going to. Yes, ladies, take my advice. Start screaming at random men on the street for absolutely no reason. You're totally not gonna get arrested or treated like a lunatic for causing public nuisance. It sucks because you said you're a mom as well, and I know you're gonna raise your child equally as nutty as you. Whatever, click this video or she screams at you next. Okay, do not approach me.